Oh boy, so it's finally happened. Sprint has parted ways with Niantic, and the reason for that is because of spoofing. Now I'm gonna explain why that is in particular, but you may have noticed that a lot of Sprint stores no longer are Pokestops and gyms, and if you had an EX raid at a Sprint store, it was probably just cancelled. So unfortunately, this is the way the game is, and unless we do something, we're going to lose Starbucks, we're going to lose a lot of the other sponsored gyms, and it's going to be a huge detriment for the players and Niantic as well. All right, so let's jump right into it. What's good everyone? It's me, it's Count, here with a brand new Pokemon Go video. If you end up enjoying this video, hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here. And of course, I want to give a shout out to my patrons on Patreon. You make this channel possible. If you want to become a patron for this channel, definitely go and check out the link in the description below. Every little bit helps and it helps me increase the quality of my videos. So yeah, do go and check it out. I left a couple of nice perks down there, so definitely go check it out. All right, so let's talk about Sprint. And yeah, this is something that I made a video about about a year ago, but a lot of people brushed it off. A lot of people were fighting against Against it and arguing against it but it turns out I was completely right so last year I talked to a friend of mine who works at Sprint during an EX raid and he was telling me that Sprint was no longer going to be a sponsor for Pokemon Go and I thought that was huge because if you think about all of the money that Niantic makes through Pokemon Go a huge portion of it actually comes from sponsored stops and gyms and of course we won a couple of weeks we won a couple of months and Sprint stores were still sponsored stops and gyms in Pokemon Go, but I'm guessing that there was some sort of grace period that they were going to kind of phase themselves out of Pokemon Go, and it looks like it finally happened. Sprint is no longer going to be a sponsor for Pokemon Go. So this has some huge ramifications, it has some huge implications, one being that we're going to lose a lot of gyms and Pokestops, mainly because if you think about Sprint stores, they're all over the place and they did provide some really nice EX raid gems for a lot of different local areas. And on top of that, this is going to be a huge revenue sink for Niantic. They're going to lose a lot of money by losing out on this sponsorship. And that is, of course, because every time you spin a sponsored stop or a gym, well, you're going to actually create some revenue for Niantic. It's kind of like how ads work in different mobile games. If you actually go to a Sprint store or a Starbucks store, spin that stop, fight in that gym, interact with that stop in any way shape or form that company will actually pay a little bit of money to Niantic so this has been producing a ton of revenue for Niantic there were plenty of articles that were going around back in the day about this whole system and it looks like Niantic is going to be losing out on a lot of money now at the top of this video I mentioned that spoofing is the reason why this happened and of course the reason for that is because Niantic is providing all of this data to the the sponsors like Sprint and Starbucks and if they are not generating a lot of foot traffic for the amount of money that they're being received well, these sponsors are going to back out of these sponsorships, and that's probably what happened. If you think about Sprint stores, if you think about Starbucks, they're paying all this money to get foot traffic into their stores and around their stores. Like, you don't actually have to walk in, but you could actually be outside, and then they could woo you in with some deals. And that is not happening because of spoofers. So spoofers are going around spinning these Pokestops, spinning these gyms, costing these companies money, and they're not actually getting foot traffic. So all of these companies are paying all of this money and not getting the foot traffic in return and they're looking at this data Niantic is giving them this data so whenever there are spoofers they look at that data and see hey why are we paying Niantic all of this money for foot traffic that we're not getting so yeah if you ever hear a spoofer say that they are the ones generating all of the money for Niantic that is unequivocally false think about it if you have a thousand spoofers spending a hundred dollars a month that's what a hundred thousand dollars 
dollars in revenue generated for Niantic, but these sponsors are paying out in the millions per month. So if you think about it, Niantic is making more money from these sponsors than in-app purchases from a couple of spoofing whales. So every time I hear a spoofer say we're the ones generating all of the money for Niantic, that is just completely untrue and I want people to realize that. Now I know I'm bashing spoofers quite a lot in this video and generally I take a bit of a neutral stance like if you spoof then that's your prerogative. I don't agree with it but I'm not going to fault you for that. A lot of people have their different reasons for spoofing and I can't judge someone for those reasons but just know that this is just one of many of the consequences that Niantic has to deal with when it comes to spoofing. Spoofing does drive out a lot of revenue for Niantic rather than driving it in. That's just a fact and we've seen it now firsthand with the loss of this big sponsorship. And what's really sad is that spoofers will continue to argue that they are the money makers for Niantic when it's never been true and I really hope spoofers realize that what they are doing is very harmful for the game and they have to take that into account when they're doing their cheating methods. And the thing that I'm really worried about now is that Niantic is going to start rolling out bans like No Tomorrow, mainly because, you know, enough is enough. Now spoofing is costing them big bucks, so they're just gonna roll out the bans, and a lot of spoofers are going to get banned, and it's going to feel really bad for the game. Honestly, like, I, regardless of how you feel about spoofing, if every single spoofer was removed from Pokemon Go, it may feel a lot less populated. I know a lot of people will say good riddance, and I tend to agree with them. Like, spoofing really doesn't contribute anything positive to Pokemon Go, but it's going to be a lot smaller of a game. Like, Niantic is going to lose out on a lot of players, but at the same time, yeah, like maybe it could be better for Pokemon Go in the long run. But it's not banning of spoofers that I'm worried about, it's actually the false positives that will get banned. Like, people who do not spoof, but the algorithm that they have in place targets them as spoofing, like, those people are gonna get banned as well. And we've seen that already with, like, Lucky Buns, like, he's another YouTuber on this, in this platform. Like, he was banned for not spoofing, but, you know, Niantic thought he was a spoofer and he got banned, and that was a huge detriment. And that was a huge red flag for me because it shows that their algorithm is still picking up false positives, but, you know, like, at this point, because it's costing them so much money, they might just go ahead and do it and that's gonna hurt quite a lot. I can see a lot of legitimate players getting banned because of spoofers and it's gonna be really unfortunate for Pokemon Go because I think it's gonna generate a lot of negativity among the community and it's going to be the spoofers that are at fault for that. So if you spoof, just understand that you are creating a lot of problems for this game for both legit players and Niantic. You're costing Niantic money and you're putting a lot of legitimate players at risk of getting banned. And of course, you yourself are at huge huge risk of getting banned right now because this is probably going to be the straw that breaks the camel's back and Niantic is just going to unleash the ban hammer like crazy because you know in the past they've tried doing small ban waves and different things like that and for the most part it hasn't been that effective it didn't really curb spoofing it didn't really curb a lot of illegitimate play like people still multi-account people still use scanners and of course people still spoof but you know I really feel like Niantic Niantic is going to put their foot down now because they lost the sponsorship. What they really should be doing is gaining more sponsorships. Like at one point they were supposed to get McDonald's as a sponsor and Taco Bell and GameStop, but they never went through with these sponsorships. I'm pretty sure it's because people who play Pokemon Go, not all of them are actually physically going to these stores. So a lot of potential sponsors are seeing this data and they don't want to commit to a contract mainly because of that. And it's going to be even harder for Niantic to get more sponsors now knowing that they just lost Sprint as a sponsor for these very reasons and it's possible that Starbucks is just around the corner and if Starbucks goes out that's going to be huge for Pokemon Go. We might see a lot of egregious in-app purchases start showing up because they need to make up for that lost revenue. It's going to get a lot more pay to win. A lot of this stuff is what could potentially happen. These are some of the consequences of losing Sprint as a sponsorship 
leadership. So yeah, we really have to step it up. We really have to do something about this. I don't know what it would take. Like we have to reduce the number of spoofing. Like if you really care about this game and you spoof, just consider just playing for real. Like go out and play. You know, like there are people who cannot physically walk that still go out to raids and still grind it out. Like there's really no excuse for spoofing and we've kind of proven that many times on this channel and I think at this point spoofing needs to be dealt with. Like if you know people who spoof, you really need to encourage them positively to not spoof anymore. Like include them in your raid groups, bring them out to raids, just kind of show them how positive the experience is playing legitimately. You don't need to go out and grind all of the shinies and all of the hundos to really enjoy this game. That's really what a lot of spoofers do anyway. And I think it's super important to point out that Niantic is fully aware if you spoof. Like the algorithm is not stupid. Like if like if you're playing in San Francisco one hour and then all of a sudden you're in Hong Kong like a couple hours later, like Niantic can detect that. I hope you realize that. It's not something that you really can't, you know, like you can hide. Like no matter how good of a spoofer you are, no matter how good at mimicking real life movements you are, you can tell if someone is spoofing compared to someone who is playing legitimately. I think the reason why Niantic never unleashed the big ban hammer is because of false positives like we saw with Lucky Buns. So yeah, I really am afraid that this is the straw that's going to break the camel's back and they're finally just going to unleash the ban hammer regardless of false positives. We're in a really dangerous time right now. So yeah, these are all of my thoughts regarding this whole thing. I think this has huge implications for Pokemon Go and it's going to be really iffy going into 2020 what this is going to mean. Are we going to lose Starbucks as well? I just I really don't know and if we do like what does that mean for Pokemon Go? Are we going to start seeing a lot more pay to win mechanics or are we going to see a huge ban hammer on spoofers and a couple of non spoofers as well? Like there's a lot of things to unpack here and I really would like to know your thoughts. Definitely share them in the comment section below. I would love to know what the community thinks about this. I think some people do not realize how much of a detriment this sponsorship loss really is for the game. So yeah, let's have a discussion going. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video, everyone. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if it's your first time here, go and check out my Patreon in the link below. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you all later. Hey guys, before I leave, I have to give a little bit of a spiel. I mean, when it comes to the YouTube algorithm, it's extremely difficult to gauge how successful you can be on YouTube. Like, there are some times where I have a ton of views on my videos, and there are some days where I just have no views on my videos, and it really comes down to the YouTube algorithm. And there's a lot of times where I get dinged for some of the songs that I pick or some of the footage that I show, and unfortunately, it's because YouTube's copyright system is a little bit broken. But if you want to support this channel financially, I highly suggest you check out my Patreon. A link to it is in the description below. Your support definitely helps me out and it helps support this channel because I would love to crank out more videos and increase the quality. And for that to happen, I do need your help. So definitely go and check out that link. And yeah, big shout out and big thank you to all of you for supporting my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video everyone. If you did, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if it's your first time here, and don't forget that little bell as well. Check out the links in the description below. I'm Count Jinsula, and I'll catch you all later.